Ah, that coronet seal of approval. Get ready to be bored, kids. Learn to argue effectively how to speak fast enough that idiots mistake your non sequiturs for facts and logic. With a name like Utterback, you have to be a good arguer. Uttering back, I don't know, there's something there. What do you want from me? I'm gonna argue with you! The story of an arguer. Jeff loved to argue about anything and everything. After all, the Vikings were here before Columbus, and so were the Indians. I mean, outdated labels aside, he's right about this, so are we supposed to take his side? And you say Jonesville won the tournament last year? Oh, <laughs> yes, those were equally important subjects of debate. You must be crazy to eat that stuff. Maybe he should try arguing with people? Ten cars that'll hold the road better. We don't need to enter a new conference, that's just the coach's idea. He wants a better job next year. If you all. like to argue so much, Jeff Field, why don't you go out for debate and learn something about it? Look. Good question, talking bulletin board. Debate squad in color. Oh, now they can afford an extra. I'm going to argue with that curtain. Oh, all this stupid. Now, what's a puppet theater have to do with debating? Gee, <laughs> puppets are neat, though. Hey, Mr. Evans. Thank you, Alice. We've an interesting gadget here. It's a Rescue Rangers puppet show? Now we're here today to find out how to argue. Is that so difficult? Well, is it? Well, Debate me! You to become skilled in argumentation. Okay, Alice. Now, first of all, what subjects are worth arguing about? Uh, the gender of Ghostbusters? Now, let's see how many of us can recognize suitable subjects for arguments. So we can sell one to Michael Palin. Oh, Judy, Judy, where are you, Judy, my love? That's a terrible oh, Cary Grant. You, silly. Well, now you're here, listen. I went out to the farm yesterday. You did, and what for? Oh, to look at the animals, and I saw a purple cow, and I... Purple cow? And that was yeah, the day when Lady Elaine Lord, snapped and decided to murder Lord Fairchild. Why with my mouth, silly? Answer my question, I know you talked with your mouth, but that's not what I mean. Well, then say what you mean. I'd argue well, with my I spouse, too, if we had the exact same cow. voice. Now, who said anything about talking to a cow? Why don't you listen? You interrupt all the time. Now, look at here. You take that, and that, and that. You talk to a cow. <laughs> well, Domestic abuse is fun. A good subject for argument? What was the argument about? Yes? I, I guess it was... Whether Punch talked to a cow. You can feel her mourning her own dignity saying that line. If there's no evidence available on your subject, why argue? Uh, have you what met would people? Be a better subject for them to argue. Well, Judy might try to convince Punch that there is no such thing as a purple cow. <laughs> a purple cow? She might try to what is a good subject for argument? What counts as cinema? Just thought about that one. Then he imagined he a purple cow. You say Jonesville won the tournament last year? Pointless to argue about a fact. I mean, you'd think so, but here we all are. Oh, liverwurst. You must be crazy to eat that stuff. Pointless, too, to argue about matters of personal taste. They are seldom changed by argument. But your taste is wrong. That's the silliest opinion I've ever heard. Why, there are ten cars that'll hold the road better. Arguments about opinions can be purposeful. For argument often does change opinions. But not opinions about taste, apparently? We don't need to enter a new conference. And arguments true. about proposed actions can be purposeful. If, if the talking bulletin points. board doesn't interrupt first. Yes, Jeff thought about these things. And wondered why smarmy coronet oh, teacher was creeping in the back. If it's a subject on which we can influence what others believe, argument has purpose. If not, why argue? Agree? Fine. No time to now, argue. Moving on. Another question. Assuming that we have a good subject for argument, how should we argue? With as much ad hominem as possible. Oh, well, where do you think you're going? Well, I'm going to Garden City next year with the team. We're going to join the new athletic conference, you know. Huh. Just because everybody wants to take a trip, we have to join a new athletic conference. 
Sound familiar, Jeff? Yeah, the bulletin board told me about your little chat. Ah, Alice cloned her own voice somehow. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little. Well, anyway, you'll agree we should try to put our school on the map if we can. Sure, if we can. Murmur, murmur, hubbub, hubbub. We've done okay right now. Well, no let's yes, not yes, have yes, the same yes, kind yes, of yes, argument yes. that they had. Then don't show us imitatable behavior. We learned it from watching you. We chose it because it is a real issue here in our school right now. People's lives are on the line, kids. Subject for argument, agreed? The question is, how can we make that argument profitable? How can we monetize can the we argument? So as to change opinions. Now, let's repeat this Punch and Judy argument. That should pad out the film. Whenever you see anything that keeps it from being profitable, we'll stop the show. We'll tear the whole thing down if we have to. All right, Alice. We're ready to kiss Flo's grits. Oh, well, where do you think you're going? Oh, I'm going to Garden City next year as a team. I didn't ask where you're going next year, dumbass! Wait a minute. Oh, something wrong there. We haven't decided whether to join the new conference or not. Punch doesn't seem to know what he's talking about. And you feel you have to know what you're talking about to argue profitably. I'll see. <laughs> well, you'll never make it on Twitter. One. They have to cut away Please for the stunt handwriter. Inform. Know your subject. I That's totally wrote that all by myself, you know. How to argue profitably. All right, Alice. Ha! <laughs> Just because everybody wants to take a trip, we have to join a new athletic conference. Well, this is our big chance. We'll put our school on the map. This is actually how they make love. Punch and Judy aren't listening to each other. How can Punch convince Judy if he doesn't know what Judy thinks, and vice versa? Good point. That's step two. Read your opponent's thoughts with the mind meld. Listen and understand. You can't argue profitably until you know what your opponent believes. No matter how stupid their beliefs are. Well, anyway, you'll agree we should try to put our school on a map if we can. Oh, sure, if we can. Well, Hold why can't... Isn't there something there? Something sweet and almost I mean, kind? Well, sometimes when you're arguing, you waste time over points you really agree on. At least Punch was trying there. Good point. I wondered whether anyone would catch that. Wondered if any little punk would take Punch's side. Find common... Ground. No one will be seated during the staring at a teacher writing on the chalkboard scene. They have to, or else the argument won't convince anyone of anything. And if you know where you agree, you can see more clearly where you disagree. Isn't that important in argument? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, Bach. The issues. Wow, our teacher really knows how to write on a chalkboard in front of an audience. Once you know exactly where you disagree, then you know exactly where to apply your information and reasoning. So, find the issue. Find the issue step in time. Work on them. Oh, I'll work on you. I'll work on you. These Wilkins coffee ads were so violent. After that, Jeff thought about subjects for argument, about methods of argument. He watched himself, too. Well, that's silly. The rehearsal couldn't be at 7 o'clock. Miss Alquist can't... Miss Alcas can't get there by seven. The most annoying shoulder demons ever. What'd you say? I'm just losing my tenuous grip on my mind and reality itself. Don't mind me. He tried to save his arguing for topics worth argument. Opinions. Proposed actions where his argument might make a difference. Like petitions to keep Splash Mountain racist. He tried to be informed. Getting knowledge that would be useful to make his arguments profitable. Who am I kidding? No matter how hard I study, I'll never understand the plot listen. of Tenet. To understand his opponents and their positions. He tried to find common ground... With his own therapist. Worked better than his previous attitude of, I dare you to fix me. He tried to find the issues. I'm telling you, with the curtain this big, the puppets lurking arguments. back there must be huge. Don't mess with them. It took time to learn to argue effectively. Time that could have been spent doing anything else with his life. But one day, not long ago... Listen, gang, ticket sales are going swell, so I guess we'll have to reserve the gym for our party. This is the most depressed I've ever heard anyone sound about anything. That's rather expensive, isn't it? No, it isn't. Besides, think of all the... 
Do you know how much they charge for the lodge? Uh-oh, he's using his no. disappointed dad voice. Well, we want our party to be informal, don't we? That's right. We could have a good informal time at the lodge. We could decorate there. And then young Morrissey fire. and we younger Elizabeth Taylor. That's, That's a wonderful it. idea. So don't you think we should first find out the cost of the lodge and then decide? Yes, Jeff is still an arguer. But that one guy is but hidden by a lamp. To make his arguments purposeful and profitable. How well do you argue? Apparently not well enough if you couldn't argue your way out of watching this. Good night, everybody.